Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today in the Bible Bistro, we're looking at verse verses 6 and 7. Yesterday, we began this uh, discussion about our condition. So our condition is described there in verses 4 and 5. It continues in 6. And then in 7, we have this beautiful golden adversative. And we'll, I'm going to read that for you here in just a minute. And it uh, it opens the door for us to have so much more than what we could have. Let me read for you verses 6 and 7. You destroy the words of falsehood, a bloody and deceitful man. He will be abhorred, O Lord. But I, in the abundance of your mercy, I will enter your house. I will worship before your holy temple in your fear. Now, verses 6 and 7 give us both condition and mercy. So you notice verse 6, we, we're continuing this, this theme of the condition. We began it there in 4. You do not take pleasure in wickedness. Evil does not abide with you. The foolish will not stand. You hate all the workers of iniquity. You destroy the words of falsehood. A bloody man and deceitful will be abhorred, O Lord. All of that is true of us. Notice how he ends that. Well, actually, the way 5 and 6 end is very instructive. You hate all the workers of iniquity. Uh, he will be abhorred, that is, the bloody and deceitful man will be abhorred, O Lord. So, again, we ask the question, how do we go from that, which is our condition, naturally, to an attitude of prayer? Because God's not going to have anything to do with this. He's not going to listen to us. Notice that he destroys the words of falsehood. And if that's all we've got, if that's all we can say in our condition, well, then how in the world are we going to pray? Well, we have verse 7. But there's that golden adversative. It stands right there at the beginning of the verse. But I, in the abundance of your mercy, you see, God in his mercy has done a thing. Paul writes about this in Ephesians chapter 2. We were sometimes like this, but God, because of his great love and mercy that he has shed toward, that he has demonstrated towards us in Christ. So, God has done a work. We didn't. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, my condition remains the same. But what God has done in mercy, in the abundance, he says here, David says, of your mercy, is he has allowed me to do what? Verse 7 says, I will enter your house. I will worship before your holy temple in your fear. So because God has abundantly been merciful to you and me in Christ Jesus, he gives us access to his house, to his worship, to his temple, to his fear. We have access to all of those things. So now we go back to verses 1 through 3 here in Psalm 5, and we look at those seven elements and you say, yeah, I can do that. I can give, you know, use my words and the ear of the Lord is there and he's listening. Thank God. Uh, I can bow before and humble myself before my king. I can direct my prayer to him and to him only. Uh, I will do it in the morning, during the evening, during the day. I will make and order my prayer during the time of day, whenever that might be. And I will set all things in order before him and I will watch. I'm going to watch for him to come and answer my prayer. So all of this now is possible, not because I'm something or you're something. This is possible because God, in the abundance of his mercy, allows us to make prayer to him. This is a beautiful, beautiful statement here in verse 7. It changes everything. It actually opens the door for us to be able to pray and be heard by the God who is holy and just and righteous and seated upon his throne. Now, join me tomorrow. We're going to talk about some of the subjects of prayer that David covers beginning in verse 8, and it'll take us all the way down through verse 12. So I hope to see you then on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.